success uh, at the year. I was just talking to, to Katie about that. GB's done, been doing very well. Um, it seems like you guys are now ramping up for the Olympics. That's really, really in the focus now. Yeah, that's with GB, the Olympics is the main main goal, but it's nice to like tick off little successes along the way. So yeah, to win at the Europeans last month was fantastic. Yeah. Um, so what was the highlight for you in that? In that? Was, it, was it the success, the results, or was it, I don't know, your own personal form? Um, I think because we hadn't, we sort of have a new coach, Cameron Meyer, he's brought in some different sort of ideas and we spent less time on the track, so we sort of went into it pretty unknown. So yeah, to win was just fantastic and it's nice to be able to wear a European jersey. Well, I don't for know the rest whether the Cameron year. worked with Charlie Walsh, but Charlie Walsh was well known for his extreme endurance training back oh, in really? Australia. Oh really, yeah. Um, <laughs> but uh, but no, it's, it's great that you've obviously got a few Aussies in there, I think Charlie's in there as well. Yeah, no, they've, they've um, brought some fresh ideas, it's been fantastic. So what's been the highlight for you? What, what, what's the highlight event for you? Um, team Pursuit always is. Um, like that's the, I think, that's my main, main goal. You do the of individual. Yeah, yeah. Right. And that's, it's nice to have a sort of side individual goal as well. Um, and yeah, to come second in the individual pursuit was fantastic. But the Team Pursuit is the main one, so to win that was really good. Yeah, I noticed Katie's driving for the UCI team on the road. She said she's going to be doing a little bit of road work. What about yourself? Are we going to see you on the road as well? Yeah, um, I've signed with Team Spectra Cannondale for this year, so yeah. I'm just going to... I think with... I rode for Lotto last year, but with the Olympics just sort of around the corner and it's such a hard team to break into that I want to really make sure that my full focus is on being on that start line in Paris. So Spectra offered a fantastic opportunity to race in the UK and do the National Series while also having a bit of fun and yeah, doing some other things because like I think a there's, a, there's a lot of time out, isn't there? with GB, so any team that you are part of does need to be aware of just how important that is. Yeah, exactly, like I spent the whole month of February away at competition, I did Europeans, then Jakarta, and so it is, it's full on, so yeah, luckily I sat with Spectra and um, Josh and Gina, they had, they seem to be really accommodating to that and they understand, and so I'm really excited. Uh, so finally, I mean, I noticed that the team is in Cairo right now, racing, is there a lot of qualifying events to come up for you? Um, there's so there's three Nations Cups in a year and that's two of them done so we did Jakarta and then the Academy went to Cairo and then we've got Milton at the end of April and then the, yeah exactly yeah so I'm looking forward to that that's the 20th to the 23rd and then the world's obviously in, a, in your home country or your home yeah I think yeah. We, I think we can call it the country <laughs> I might be in Scotland but anyway um, that must be great as well yeah I think home, that's home that's a really big goal of ours, and particularly with Nia and Katie both being Scots, um, yeah. we definitely want to go out and get a fantastic result there. Yeah. How important would it be to, to win the, the rainbow jerseys there, or is it still just a stepping stone? Um, I think it's obviously a stepping stone, but it's still a world championship, and yeah. I can't imagine much better than winning in front of a home crowd, so that's yeah. the big goal. Yeah. The rainbow stripes, they're, they're a huge motivation. Exactly, yeah. Well, well done, good luck. Thanks.